Hi, I'm Carrie Kirkham, and you're Sipping with the Wine Fox. With me today is 2015 Benton Lane Pinot Noir from Willamette Valley, Oregon. Very interesting wine. Uh, one thing that I really love about it is it's a screw cap closure, and it's on the top shelf. It is a top shelf Pinot. I like screw cap closures for wines that are not meant to age for decades, wines that are meant to be drunk within five years or so, and this is a perfect closure for this kind of a wine. Um, what's funny is this wine has been on my top shelf and it's been selling, and I knew nothing about it until my wine sales rep dropped me off a bottle and said, hey, you should know about this wine. Now I know why. Now I understand, and it's like one of those light bulb moments. This is why this wine is selling. It's absolutely delicious. I can't find, oh, the nose on it. The nose is beautiful. Such great aromatics. Okay, I digress. Okay, so I get um, black cherry. I get violets. I get... Um, kind of like rhubarb. For some reason I'm thinking of like a summer rhubarb pie and spices. Just really fruity inviting nose. Maybe a little bit of nutmeg. Just, I want this. I want to drink it. I had this with dinner with a beef dish with carrots and um and some cabbage and other things, and it went well with every bite. This is such a food-friendly wine because it has it has good acidity, nice complex flavor. The tannins are there, but it's they're subtle. They're very fine-grained. Mmm. Again with the black cherry, but I can't help but sense rhubarb. Rhubarb is something I just. I fix on with this particular wine. It's very odd. And I do get nutmeg. I'd say it's medium body. Absolutely delightful. Um, I drank the lion's share of this wine uh, tonight uh, because I just absolutely loved it. But everybody at the table really liked this wine. Highly enjoyable. Highly recommended. Very easy to drink. It's in the $30 range. Wonderful aromatics. Great Pinot nose with that dark, very dark black cherry. But not cloying because it has these spices going on. And, um, and this, again, this, with this rhubarb thing, I can't... It, it, it's, it's, it's really good. Now I know why it sells all the time. And this is great. Like I said, it's like one of those light bulb moments where it's like, now I understand. Um, <clears throat> one thing I find interesting with Benton Lane as a winery is um, they don't have a winemaker. They have a democratic process into making wine uh, where it's not just one person, one palate, one vision a bunch of people get together and make this wine. And I think this wine would appeal to a variety of palates for that reason. Very elegant, um, easy to drink. I could see this going with holiday meals, um, dinner, or just if you're sitting with a friend and you're gonna pay attention to the wine, if you're gonna sit and pay attention to the wine, this is the wine for you. Very, very good, highly recommended. And uh, I also want to say that it is all estate-grown fruit, um, and it's all sustainably, it's a, it's a sustainable winery, which matters to me. It just hits all the bells and whistles. Phenomenal. And to that, I say cheers to Benton Lane and Carpe Uvum.